What's the situation now? Is the gallery in London open or will it reopen soon? We are open. So the gallery in London is open now on a limited basis. So we're open three days a week as opposed to five uh, with slightly shorter hours and then by appointment on the other days. But we will be reopening on, in September when we open the Picasso exhibition uh, on a regular five days a week schedule, Tuesday through Saturday. So let's talk about the exhibition. This is uh, an amazing exhibition that is set to be launched, uh, like you said, in September. But let's take it from the top. And um, uh, I hope you'll pardon this simplicity of the question. Picasso is, of course, one of the most celebrated uh, and also famous artists of all time. But generally speaking, what would you say makes him such an important figure in art history? <laughs> Um, there is, uh, there's the slightly facetious answer to that, and then there's the more, more serious one. I mean, uh, his, his notoriety is kind of one of those things which almost like a kind of Henry VIII appeal of kind of, of kind of scandal and womanizing and all of this, which kind of plays into his, into his fame. But I mean, it is impossible to want to play the just pure raw talent that he possessed. His art that he met as a, that he produces a sort of twelve year old or fourteen year old where he was able to reproduce old masters so faithfully is is a staggering accomplishment and then to take that talent and then be really at the forefront of every major artistic movement through the early part of the twentieth century uh, and then in the latter part of the twentieth century up to his death to really still push the boundaries of what art should be so that he ended up influencing an entirely new generation of painters of the abstract mold in, in Germany is, is really, really remarkable. And there is no other artist who spans. I mean, he was 90 years old when he, when he passed away and like he's nearly a century of constant innovation and refreshing his, uh, his concept of what art is. And that has to be, for me in any case, the, the, the greatest attribute. And can you tell me about the exhibition itself? I mean, it's it's named Atelier Picasso, is that correct? Yes, it's correct. It's based around his famed Cannes studio, uh, La Ville Californie. After the Second World War, uh, which he spent so completely in Paris uh, and was followed around by the German Gestapo, uh, who tracked all of his movements and limited his access to supplies. And he had this studio on the on the South Bank, which he filled with just collected detritus from the Paris, and he continued to collage and make exceptional artwork. Um, but there's a kind of gray feeling to that period of his work. Uh, and when Paris is liberated, he moves to the South of France to Cannes, and he suddenly is imbued with life and color. And his entire creative process just expands exponentially. He's working with the Madura workshop in Flores to make ceramics, something which he'd never done before, but which rapidly became a mainstay of his artistic production. He's continuing to make assemblages and sculptures, but he also returns to paintings. He suddenly has access to uh, all these materials, which he was had limited access to whilst he was in lockdown, which is actually, of course, interesting in light of our current situation too. That's right. That's right. Yeah, I didn't think of that.